Right, uh, so I was at a request to show you both the two slap. teams. The, the two teams. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off with Antarctic team. Uh, and he's got Chaos, uh, down to 12 players. So he's got a bench. He's got three Chaos Wars blocked, one without any skills yet. I'm sure he'll be knocking himself out to level that one. Um, most dangerous player on the team, the Claw Mighty Blow, uh, number five. Um, but that is probably going to help decide how this game goes. Uh, interesting pair of Agility Goats uh, with extra arms and agility. A block, uh, block one, a guard one, and a claw one. Six fan factor. Facing off against Zunk. Um, bruising from last week as he uh, first suffered his first defeat. Um, and he's got four blitzes. Two guard, one might blow piling on. Uh, two block, black orcs. Uh, a block lineman, a dirty player lineman. Disgusting. Uh, a block thrower uh, and a troll that hasn't done anything yet. Uh, with seven fan factor, so Zunk's got slight edge on the fan factor. Uh, this is Rebel. This is match day five, is it not? Or is it match day six? Six? I don't know. Uh, I think it was six. Um, hello, Sarah. Where'd you get your little pictures from? Oh, fuck, it's raining. I didn't get my shed done. Oh, well. So, Zunk's receiving. Where's the sound gone? That's know. just a vicious rumour. Uh, so, we'll watch it from Zunk's point of view. Oh, have you got perfect fence? Maybe. Oh, in that case, we'll watch it from Chase Cam point of view. Uh, we'll watch it from the Chaos point of view. Hi Sarah, I didn't flower. Uh, and just so we don't uh, get accused of any bias, uh, hello Asian guy McNaughton uh, and Baz of course, um, and FD. There we go. Oh hi FD. <laughs> well, oh flying start. So how have you been? What have you been up to? Oh, all right. Um, what have I been up to? Um, a lot of champ ladder, really. Um, some of it's gone quite well. Some of it not so much. Bias are accused of acknowledging your ethnic minority viewers. Um, I think you'd have to take ethnic out of that Asian guy because Sarah is not an ethnic minority. That was a bunker of Asian. <laughs> um, oh dear. Um, he's got himself into a muddle here. Do you think? Happy days. Yeah. Who are you? Well, he can't. He can't get two dice on the troll unless he blitzes it. Was it? Was that one dice? Uh, it was one dice. Yeah. Dirty bastard. Oh, turn to turn. All right then. Well, I've got more guard than you, old son. Not much, but a little bit. Guard go. The, the thing I'm I'm feeling positive about a plus is um, the three goats that are really useful to him. None of them have got block, so I'm hoping to start picking off some of them. Oh well, no, no, no blitz from killer goat there. Interesting. Yeah, um, I think if Arctic watches this back, um, he should be um, setting his turns up mostly to be blitzing with the killer goat where possible. Yeah, I would think. So we do have a bit some poor goat white tricks. Good luck, son. Seven. Uh, see, that would have been an armor break with Mighty Blow as well. Oh, baby. He's fine. Mm. That'd be jolly handy if Troll would stand up. And I'm a bit annoyed. Big Mac's um, marked up by Chaos Warrior, which is uh, not ideal. But uh. so it was a balancing act with Orcs that you, you, you haven't got quite enough players on the pitch. The eight positionals, as it were, the Black Orcs and the Blitzers, obviously go on. 
Um, the throw I don't need. Um, and then do I put McNaughton on or not? But if I do, he becomes effectively a sacrificial line orc. Um, hence, he's there. The perfect defenseman, I put him backwards a little bit. I just left him there just as a... No, really, where else I wanted to put him. Um, oh, he's just going to reroll already. Yeah, I think, I think I'd have let that go. Um, and I'd also, considering what players he's got, um, I'd have moved the extra arms guy back and I would have thrown the ball with the agility four to the extra arms on two plus two plus for free star player points. Because cause why not? And then yes. next turn, hand it back, throw it again, hand it back, throw it again. Um, and that means you can then score uh, with a different player while still levelling up your uh, your best player, uh, your, your ball carrier. Current, currently, what I'm liking at the moment as a plan um, is... Uh, look over that guy and then blitz guard goat. So let's do that. Ugh. Ugh. Just take that. Oh well. They were not the dice you were looking for. They weren't the dice I was looking for. Um. Oh, good boy. Trollop. Trollop. There he is. He's up. Uh, new team Zunk. Uh, yes, this is uh, this is a new team Vindictus. And hello, good morning, good afternoon. Sorry. Should Andy, I play these cards next round to no tips. Well, I've already played them, so tips away, eh? Hey? <sighs> that guard helping two blocks uh, be thrown this turn. Right, let's think positive. Let's try and deck him. Happy day. Oh, okay. Ooh, now that's awkward. <laughs> I, I can't leave him on his feet. Ah, there we go. That worked out. I, I, the reason I did that was not greed. It wasn't greed, I promise. It was if I leave... Um, if I leave uh, 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 Tony there, he will just get blitzed by the killer goat, which I do not want. So the reason, the reason for doing that was to take him off his feet, in case you were wondering. Mm. I promise. <laughs> That's a big hit as well, because the chaos are slightly weaker um, than the. The uh, the orcs because there's no no strength five thing on the uh, chaos team and so having lost a chaos warrior that now amplifies the strength advantage that the uh, orcs have got. Yes, uh, so that really worked out. That wasn't actually my primary blitz target, as you might guess. I'm really going after the goats because without claw, the armor eight goats and they don't have block are much more likely to take them out. But because I didn't knock over that warrior on the um, left side, as you look at it, um, my ability to pick any of the really good goats was removed. So this was plan B, and it, uh, it really worked out. Oh, happy days. Arctic's having a rough start. Um, could be worse. But yeah, it's going all right. Yeah. Chub steps, I'm sorry to do this, friend, but you are a sacrificial line hook, I'm afraid, mate. <laughs> so, oh, I was going to say, what's the blitz target this turn, but I'm talking to the wrong player. Oh, well, if I was him, I'd go for probably the guard, guard uh, blitzer. No, he's going for chub steps. I think he's doing it because he can snipe, he can do it in and then leg it again. He's clocked that I will try and shun him. Ah, oh, he's got chub steps. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Chub steps. I'm afraid you're out of here, mate. Oh, no apothecary. Nothing. Chub steps. Not li Dude, line orc. Come on. Would you turn no. two? No, I wouldn't. Um. <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. And chub steps doesn't need block 
well, it doesn't hurt that he's got it, but I'm not bothered. A another sacrificial line orc, fine. So um, I will be replacing Chubsteps with Chubsteps, uh, identical twin brother Chubsteps. Oh, oh hello. Uh, didn't expect you'd do that. Oh, Tony, passive removal. Tony's t t two in two turns. What a beast. I get why he did that. He Tony is by far and away my most uh, competent and dangerous player. Um, so that, that was reasonable. Yeah, he hasn't got it. So he's now down to 10 for the whole game, though, because he did have bench. He's had one casualty and he's now had one sent off. Hmm. This is my favourite thing about Blood Bowl. Everyone plays it differently. Uh, Phil Proctor says, Andy, start build for Chaos Dwarf team. Um, two bulls, six blockers. Um, Hobgoblins down to 11. Two re-rolls, Apothecary. Temptation is to go and press the ball, but I don't fancy sending uh, Aratar off by himself or possibly with uh, Bucket Bonger because the killer goat's there. Yeah. So neither of them are particularly want to get killer goated, but uh, hey ho. Right, what shall we do? Um, um, stream, would, would you like to watch this from Zunk's point of view? I know um, Arctic's on offense, but um, do you want to watch it from which point? Oh, I'm going to ask. Which point of view do you want to watch it from? And I'll just go with the most votes. Oh, we've had one vote. Uh, McNaughton, congratulations, you are actually... Uh, oh, no, we've had one vote for each. Come on, get it. Oh, Stun's uh, actually quite powerful there, because uh, you can't fill the square in. Um, it's like Chaos Warrior's in a bit of trouble. He wants to watch it. FD wants to just watch it from the Kaz bench point of view. Well, that Chaos Warrior is kind of all right insofar as I've already blitzed. So I can't really do anything else. I get why you did that. It's a free mighty blow hit, so sort of why not? Almost. Basic. It, it was him or the black orc. Um... Yeah, and it, and if he doesn't make it, the black orc gets to hit anyway because you've still got the assist from the guard and the um, dirty player. So. Um, Nr07. Uh, I don't know if we've spoken before. Um, welcome to the show. Feel like we should we should honour NRO7's um, request. Hi NRO7. Oh, happy days. We're gonna my <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you knocked out. Dirty player do normally anything kills yet? them. He does have double veins though, so that that he will be back. This yeah. is this is more um, this is more um, top and scoring on this drive. Try and really really hammer the uh, numeric advantage. And of course, if I get numeric advantage, it gets to the stage that I can go to turn smother him. Mm. So I'm gonna take this off. Get it. Tony back on his feet. Start doing some pileon goodness. Yeah. Um, just want to ask, by the way, you've got the stream muted, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'm just going to say, because I'm going to say something. Oh, it's not your turn. It's his turn. <coughs> Never mind then. I um, haven't got that much of an advantage, Mark. Um, I agree, looking to turn him over is is definitely on the cards, but um, I, it's not in the bag. I mean... Mm. 
Uh, exclamation mark follow it, it doesn't work. Um, NRO7, I'm, I, I haven't seen that command before, so I don't know what that one's supposed to do. Um, we've got some commands for you if you want to check out some commands. But, but never mind that. If you'd like to follow, which would be lovely to have you, um, just use the little symbol at the top of the screen, mate, the, the, the little green heart icon or purple heart icon. CT Measum's joined us. Hello, CT Measum. Uh, am I four players up? Um, Three. Uh, two, actually, because you. Two. He, he's moved. He's, has he got rid of yours? Yeah. Two. He's You're two up. Steps. No, I'm two up. Which, so, you know, it's good. It's good. Ooh, uh, it's good, but it's not, you know, in the bag. We'll, we'll, we'll try, though. We'll try. We'll give it a whirl. Now then, where's he going to go? I'd really like to blitz him, but I've got nobody really ideally available to do it. Maybe have to wait. Oh, good. But you know what? I really like the fact that you've, you've, you've spoken to us. That's really nice. Sorry about this uh, chat. I, I'm uh, when I when I type in the chat, it it, uh, it basically alt tabs me, and I have oh dear, oh dear. No rerolls, oh baby. Well, that cheers me up no end. Hello, Matto. This is Rebel. That cheers me up no end, as it makes blitzing with Killer Goat a little more adventurous than it otherwise would be. Um, okay, it, it's spelled with an E, Matto. By the way. Well, first of all, let's move that fucker out of the way, because he's in the way. So I think what we'll see is Zunk take the guard guy around the top, uh, provide some um, pressure, um, and then the Black Orc will go to block the Chaos Warrior. If that goes down, then you've got the, Chaos, uh, the killer player to then be able to put some pressure uh, on. We'll see that block next. Oh, it didn't go down. So in that case, I think that's possibly going to be the blitz. Let's see. Right, let's have a little go at you, mate. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Tony, these are not the dice we're looking for. Have another go. That's better. <laughs> Oof, that was an auto boink, that one. It wasn't auto, but um, I definitely wanted to do it. T Tony does not want to be blitzed by Killer Goat. Understandable. We didn't fancy it. Right, <laughs> off we go. It's a little pressure around there. Oh, just point the mighty blow hit. Right, claw go. Off you go. Mark, you're up. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, big Mark, what are you doing? Subtlety, man, subtlety. But that's a fair swap. I'll, I'll... Mark, your work here is done. Go and have an early bath and a lie down or whatever. Ixtab, the other voice, is the orc player. And also Andy's co-host, um, except when he's playing whilst I'm at work. Hello, Ixtab, nice to meet you. Well, I think that worked out all right. Yeah, oh. Norton's delighted. He's playing this lot next round. You're welcome, mate. I mean, Arctic's not doing anything wrong here. This is just going well. 
but I, I don't think it's going, um, you know, extraordinarily. I'm, I'm pulling the right levers and pushing the right buttons for how to play this, and it is broadly going to plan, I would say. Hello, Fernlow. Hello, KZE. McNaught says I'm dicing him. Am I being super lucky? You know? Um... No, if 60-40, I would say. If I was being hypercritical, and it's something that if, if Arctic's looking to improve, what um, what he could be doing here is things like he made the go for it and he failed with, to move the ball carrier. It, it's just thinking, well, do I need to make that go for it? Um, in the first to second turn, he made a uh, re-roll on a pickup, which didn't matter. So he could still be sat on two re-rolls, and this looks a lot less dangerous. Um, on the flip, yes, he's had a Chaos Warrior hurt, which probably doesn't already happen. Um, so, it's not going well. Um, and I'm not saying he's the architect of his own downfall either. I'm just saying that there are things that you could do to help mitigate here. That's all. Because um, he's going to struggle to hold on to the ball, I think, next turn. Because um, he's only got three screen players, and you've got to, you've got the ability to attack probably from two different angles. If he go, oh, he's going to go for the sideline cage. I'm I'm never a fan of sideline cages generally, um, because um, you can normally put enough pressure on them that they then pop the following turn. Mm. Um. Because looking at the way that you, you're going to take your block distribution out, you should be able to knock out most of the players that are based with minimal um, extra assists required, which means that a lot of your team will then just be able to go and squidge into the ball. And then I think he's going to be in trouble. Um, or you can put all your resource into making sure you knock over those players um, and then they're going to become irrelevant. So whatever you do, I don't think there's a wrong choice. Zunk. I think you're just going to... It's flavours of all. Oh, that's nice. Which which flavour of nice do you want? He's currently deciding what to do with that warrior um, Max Dal Shin. Um, for me, it would make him part of the screen. Yeah, that would make the hardest bit for for my play. The, the tricky bit I've got is that the four quick lads, one's lined down, Tony. Two of them are significantly north of the ball, leaving the only one blitzer left so uh, I kind of need the troll to move uh, to lend an assist I think yeah yeah he's doing the right thing here I think I, I take that Chaos Warrior one more forward and then take the extra arms goat and stand it diagonally in front of um, the killer goat to make the front of the cage stronger than the back of the cage um, because uh, by doing that, um, it means that you probably can still advance the ball. But I don't, I don't dislike what he's done there actually, because he's he's tying up your strength four guys. Good bit of blocking for Zunk. He. Uh, he's going to need the troll. So troll can go there. Oh. Mm, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a double problem because he's in the way as well. I know. Yeah. Oh dear. Hello, um, sad face. Ha good afternoon. IX tab. Um, I've not played Blood Bowl for a long time. Is illegal procedure still in the tabletop game? Um, IX tab, it is officially still in the rules, um, but I've never been to a tabletop tournament ever that has ever enforced it. So um, I, I wouldn't expect to see it. Uh, whereabouts in the world are you from, by the way? Yeah. 
UK. Okay, are you looking to get back into tabletop scene, or are you um, thinking about uh, Blood Bowl from the uh, PS um, yeah, PS4 or um, computer perspective? Oh, you're going to want to pile on, but you're going to want to not. Which one are you going to do? Yeah, if a pile on, I basically gift him a score. I mean, you can still try and blitz Tony and then dodge past Aratark. Um... In that case, if you're talking about the uh, the computer game version, no, a legal procedure doesn't ex exist. I have Curse Edition for PC, but I'm intending to get this version soon. Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't it doesn't exist in um, the online version. So I think my play here for the chaos would be um, Chaos Warrior block to um, Blitzer. Um, follow. It's happening. It's risky. No reroll. That could have been a turnover. Yeah. Oh, he's only got shades of not very nice now. Mm. Um, um, did you used to play tabletop uh, back in the day? Ooh. See, troll being stupid means he could, if he's if he's happy now to take some three plus dodges, um, you could dodge out a little bit of support here. I don't think it'll save you per se, but you could. Garage came down. Fair enough. Um, where about? Do you mind me asking whereabouts in the UK you are? I don't mean specific postcode and street name. Just generally. Region. Hello, Necro. Gloucester. Bang, um, we're in. Bang, we're in. Oh, bang, we're in, right here. Um, Gloucester, there's an awful lot of um, table topping uh, down in that way. Uh, Bristol has got a very strong tabletop community if you want to get involved in that. Um, or if you're happy to travel a little bit further. Um, Newport is also hugely into Blood Bowl. Um, that Asian guy, actually, who li who's, was in the show, uh, is from the Newport area. Oh. So, if you are involved, if, if you're interested, the South uh, Southwest has a lot of um, table topping type stuff. I could, I could point you in the direction of stuff if you're interested. So, what's the plan for the rest of the turn, Dunk? Um, make the ball safe, really. Um, so the two guard blitzers are going to come and play with it. I think I'd go guard to there, pick up the ball to there, tra -la -la lol to there, to there actually, so he's based. Pure speculation, that one. Good, I'm pleased for you, Matto. Good morning, Ramaset. How are you this fine morning? Hey, man. So, why I'm particularly happy with there is that Killer Goat is out of range. He could blitz me with extra arms, go and then pick up the ball with agility goat, but can't really get very far if he does. 
Um, so that's what I figured probably my best opportunity there. Yeah, uh, Villy, no, sorry, I missed it. Um, I did literally just uh, step into his chat and then leave again. I'm going to stay strong, son. It came from behind! Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, it could have been worse. <coughs> Good morning, Beach. Good morning. Um... It's going very well for Zog, isn't it? Uh, so, Villy says, um, said I'll... Oh, said my little Dark Elf team is developing a page, which is almost Andy Devo-esque. <laughs> 25 star player points last game with three level ups, 27 the game before that. Oh, well played. Very nice. Um, is that through casualties or touchdowns or throwing the ball? Uh, or just a combination of all three? Because at 25, that's probably, probably a bit of each, I would have thought. Well, I think I know where you're going to be running next turn. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I think the ta the the, uh, the objectives now for this half for both coaches have probably diverged. Diverged, yeah. Um, and that it'll be that uh, Zunk wants to go and get a touchdown. And the uh, Antarctic wants to get a casualty. Beach, um, are you based up in Scotland, by the way? I, I've got this f feeling that that's where you're. You're somewhere up there. Can we get the ball into the end zone? That's a good question. Uh, so it's two two go for it to get to the ball in the end zone with the current current holder of the ball. Right, I need two go for it to make the end zone. Beach is from Hawaii. <laughs> Beach is not from Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, Do you know it's odd that I've just said that because I I I don't want to be uh, accused of giving away stuff, so I, I didn't say it with a microphone pressed. Um, but I have literally just said that. <laughs> um. Failed to go. What happened there? I missed. Oh, you dodged right. Yeah, I'm hanging on to the last reroll. What I was trying to do is just there's just screen off so he can't go around the top as easily. Where did I get Scotland from? I don't know. I do you know why it was Beach? I thought it, I know you live a long way away from me. That's all. Scotland just looked up and there it was. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Beach paid for his Nafsi game against me recently. Uh, new vampire team, four vamps and seven thralls with four rerolls. Wow. Versus ogres. Ooh. Um, finished with no players on the pitch, two dead thralls, mana. Oh, God. Oh, no. That sucks. Um, yeah. Dark Elves, it's fine once you get some dodge and block on the players, but. Um, I think the thing to remember with all the Armour 8 teams is that they are actually Armour 8, which they're in, they are capable of having a bad day at any point. Um, it just comes less frequently than the, uh, the sort of the Armour 7 teams. Uh, but constant basing, just because you're Armour 8, um, is, uh, is dangerous. Hi, he's going after Tony. Hello, Robbo. Tony, Gl brace yourself, son. Gloucestershire is clearly not a, uh, a word. Oh, no. Tony, oh! fucking legend, son. Oh! Oh, Tony, you beast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's... Oh, he's fine. He's oh, that's fine. Good. Good. But I want him to recover. Well, I do. I, I do, because he's having a bad day. I mean, look, I don't want him dead. 
just to, just to make that clear. I don't need him dead. don't want him dead. But I do want him to not take part in the rest of this game. Yeah, but badly hurt. You, you would have happily taken a badly hurt there. It's probably just pronounced glue. Um, well, actually, Robbo, if you listen to some of the people who live up there, um, you wouldn't be far away from the truth there. McNaughton would like no more miss next games or better. Um, I absolutely echo that sentiment, Mark. Well played, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Now, I'd rather the hedge my vets there. With hindsight, I would have liked Umbrella Hats further forwards. So he does have a blitz on the ball. It's a dodge and double go for it. However, I was hedging my vets that what if uh, Killjoys didn't knock over the warrior he just knocked over? So that's if you're wondering, that wasn't a mistake. I did see it. I just um, sat on the fence, if you like. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Although, Robbo, you have probably met Beach, I would think. Also, most offensive to call that up there, down there. I don't know. Gloucester's down from me, isn't it? You know, I need a cup of tea. Uh, right, I'll be right back. I just absolutely need a cup of tea. Um, chair. And um, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of chair. Uh, so please be nice to chair. Um, be right back. Oh, piss flaps. Uh, welcome to the show, Maker Mora. What? He's not just going to do that one. Anyway, welcome to the show. Just prove you're not uh, a fake person by uh, saying something, please. <laughs> Ooh. Off the carry. Oh no! Piss flaps. That sucks. <sighs> well, that was really harsh, wasn't it? Yeah. Ouch. Also, one of the balls landed. I'm now one square out of range um, with my blitzers. So I'm now going to have to do something rather spanky um, to uh, score. So we're unlikely to score. Um. Piss. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Okay. I thought you were going to walk up to it and hand it off to the other one and run it in, but. Yes. Me? Nah. I want to do that. It's more exotic. More reeling from the death of Aratar, Captain. That's not good. One, two, three, four down. Because I wanted to, Mark. It was more crowd pleasing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, base, eight plays eight. nine. <laughs> um, Aratar was actually here yesterday. Oh, good. Is he um, all right? Yeah, he's got a new house, a new girlfriend, and a new job. Um, and apparently uh, a new stream, clearly. No, he hasn't got a new stream. He's just very busy with real life. Uh, but he was very, he was very funny. Squares. Fuck off, Mark. I did count the squares. I mean, 
With hindsight also, if you applied them dice to it, I think we'd have failed anyway, because it we'd, we'd failed the catch of an accurate pass, so we failed the uh, three plus anyway. So, anyway. But yes, all right, should have handed it off, blah, blah. But Aratark's dead, we can't think clearly once... Uh, now Aratark's dead. Flux Jimmy just would like to wish you a happy birthday. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Like I said, wrong show. Right, um oh, the bloody thing. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a cup of tea. Um commiserations on the death of Aratark. Um I'm sure Aratark will be reborn into Aratark. Six teeth. Um, and hello, Trip. Nice to have you in. Um, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> right, back in a sec. Aratark's dead. <laughs> Aratark, he was so young with his whole life ahead of him. What's the life expectancy when all about 20? He had another good 10 years in him at least. Uh, that turn, yeah, that went all right. That went all right. Knocked out the guard goat. That was very, uh, that was very good. Bit of a shame we didn't get Chub Steps back at uh, half time. The block Black Orc. Um, I, the risk we've got is it might successfully chin some more orcs, in which case it becomes tricksy. But you know, we will keep plugging away. What's this? I'm a nine. Come on, pseudo. What are you doing? I am playing orcs, Matt, though. I've been playing these orcs the last two months now, mate. Awful to score with the ball carrier, to be honest. Yeah. 
much already done that. A bit risky. But it kind of works. And yeah, okay. Oh, well, that worked out. Oh, what's Andy doing? Oh, you've just missed next game to another Chaos Warrior. Maybe. It's Tony, man of the match, orc of the match. Hey. Wow. Well, if Mark doesn't win his next game 4-0... Um... Just trying to help you out, mate. Just trying to help you out. Kissy Bear. What language is that? I always thought you were English, Kissy Bear. Am I completely way off the mark? Um, Big Mac, we can't we can't keep fouling, mate, because um, you're off, and um, I don't want to lose another uh, orc. Um, you know, player advantage. We've got six v nine at the minute, which is nice. Six v eight, and suddenly um, this in there, and plus he's still got Killy Goat on the pitch, which is um, quite annoying. So no, now is not the time to be throwing around fouls, I fear. No. <laughs> um, how is Laughing Cow Cheese? Oh, it's very nice. I enjoyed it. The problem with the Laughing Cow Cheese is, though, there's just not enough of it. You just eat one and you're like, Om. and it's gone. You need you need more. There needs to be maybe maybe you need to be a little bit smaller, and then you get three of them. <laughs> yeah. Now we're seeing stand strong, son. Stand strong. <laughs> and he's not dead, is he? He's not dead. No, he's not dead. Um, no. um, sad face. Uh, don't worry, it'll be uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> uh, actually, um, for all you new new viewers, um, I can confirm we are actually uploading uh, four videos a day at the moment to YouTube. Four um, of last season's Champ Ladder run. Uh, we finished top Amazon. Um, so, uh, so there's that. As soon as that's finished, we're going to upload, um, and they'll be interspersed with World Cup games uh, and Rebel uh, stuff. Uh, as soon as we finish that, we're going to do um, all of Zunk's games. Um, I'm going to take the time out of my day to uh, upload all of Zunk's games. Oh, hello. We've got Qu Quake Flush Neth Gurk there, the uh, Karras Warrior with a Death Wish. He likes to be I called am, Nathan. I'm he's, tired he's Nathan. of living. Uh, please kill me. Um, yes. Let's try that. He is known as Nath to his friends. Uh, 
now. He's, he's really pondering this. I mean, considering there's only six, six players, he really is taking his time to think about this turn. Judging by what um, I, I see, I think um, he's primarily just trying to protect Killer Goat. That, that's my my estimation. Good boy. Oh, he's up. Don't trolls look just look weird? Like, if you look at them. They just look big and gangly and weird. Oh, look, broken armor. What? Oh, basket. Look out, Nath. He's fine. Use the mighty blow on breaking the armor, look. Kissy Bear says, on my troll shaming the big guy. Um, yeah, it would appear so, wouldn't it? Uh, I like the chevron, but I'm not sure the flying wedge is really as safe as it otherwise could be, Zunk. Oh, there we go. Um, well, the temptation was to go and lend an assist with him, but no, he was always going to be the uh, judge. Had to. I mean, no, this is this is this is fine, isn't it? What's wrong with that? No, that's fine now. That is fine now. I I didn't actually do anything but build this. You know, it was. Yeah, it's fine. Just fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um. What would you what would you do here if you were Arctic? Would you just now start blitzing random players with a killer to try and level him up, or would you keep trying to get the result? Because I think I think what I'd be doing now is I think I would probably accept that you're going to lose one nil um, or two nil if Zunk runs it in early. Um, or 1-1 one, one if someone runs it in early, of course. Um, but I'd probably just try and level up my killer because leveling up the killer at this point now is quite important. Well, I've got 10 max. I've got 9 on the pitch at the moment with a KO. He's got 6 with 8 max. Then he's got double babe. So if I do score early... Oh, shit. <laughs> I could be facing 8v8. Um, so no, I think one nil is the way to go. I agree. I don't. I don't think I'd score early as you. There's also the factor that if Killer Goat rolls up his sleeves, I could be outnumbered by the next drive. So let's uh, crack on and try and make that happen. Yeah, I, I would be absolutely knocking myself out to to keep keep hitting with that Killer Goat now because. If you, because I would think, as the orc coach, you're unlikely to run it in, and I think that KO further amplifies the fact that you won't want to run it in. Um, while this turn looks like you're not going to be able to do anything, maybe in a few turns' time, um, you might be able to do something, because if the Chaos don't lose any more players over the next two turns, but the orcs lose another two or three, which is possible, Killer could just go and remove someone each turn, um, all of a sudden you might be able to hold this out to 0-0. Zero, zero. Beach is just a monster. Beach, I've met you. You are probably the least monster-shaped person I've ever met. Um, even when even when mercilessly beating me um, during the tabletop, um, you were just being very polite about it and very gentlemanly. Uh, and I have a lot of respect for you, sir. Is Beach small and scrawly? No. Um... Devilishly handsome, I think you could you could describe Beach as. <laughs> oh no, didn't get him. Sung's pondering the reroll. Doesn't take it. Um, you wouldn't go for devilishly handsome. Ah eh, well.
Are you pondering them both down? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um. I was, but it does yeah. rather drop um, umbrella hats in it, so. Uh... Uh, is Beach small or scrawny? No. I, I don't actually know how tall Beach is. Um, in my mind's eye, he's probably slightly over average height. <laughs> oh dear. Luckily, Kissy Bear, there's an ocean, or at least there's a sea between me and you, so I'm safe. For now. This would be interesting if the chaos just went. <coughs> uh, sorry, not the chaos. The uh, the orcs just went. <coughs> it would make for an interesting finale. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Let's do some square counting. One, two, three, four, five, oh six. Because he's going killer on killer. Yeah, no, but. Right, okay, because you need the assist, right? I get it. I get it. That's unlucky. Who fucking who? That was, I was unlucky, that. I was unlucky. Mm. Um, is it possible to be both? What? I don't know what. What? what? I, I've lost the thread of the conversation. Uh, Kissy Bear, by the way, um, I know you were after some um, some soft cheese. Uh, I've been told that my dinner um, is going to be... Um, I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. Uh, it's going to be... Um, uh, shit, what the hell is it going to be? I'll come back to you when I've remembered. He's having curry. What, for lunch? Oh, for dinner. Right, okay. Ah, paninis um, with a um, big pot of coffee. I've got a special pot of coffee being made. Um, and some of these special, like, I want to call them Doritos. I think they are Doritos. The, the, the hot and spicy ones. Um, they start off being not too hot and spicy, then they get hotter and spicier. I believe it's pronounced Panic Panio Panio or Panio is Nachos, possibly Kissy Bear, yeah. And he's having the Mexico 86 sticker album for dinner. Well, I'll put a bit of sauce on it, I'll eat anything. Uh, instantly regret saying that. <laughs> I think that was worth a punt just to try and take him out of the equation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's the most dangerous goat. It didn't work, but I think it was worth a punt. Yeah, I'd have done that as well, I think. Who's the right orc? Are you just going to score with a thrower this turn? Yeah. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't mind a black orc, but they're all kind of busy. I think we're going to see foul on foul action. If we get sent off. Uh, Tony's absolutely nails. Yeah. Everyone's happy with that result. Uh, Rogue Shenanigans um, thinks that maybe you could score with a Black Orc. Maybe. It 
comes Pyro. Gang files on Tony, so pseudo go and go and look after Tony. Do a handoff to Pyro. Hello, Toronto. Do we hand off to Pyro, or indeed pass to Pyro? Do we pass to Pyro? Could cost us the game. <laughs> I think you've got to um, decide um, what what's your objective for this um, I'm gonna this do season. It. It's, it's it's the right thing to do. Oh, Pyro's with us. Good afternoon, Pyro. I trust Hi, you're Pyro. well. Right, Pyro. If I give you this, are you going to drop it? Tell me now, and that'll just take the point. I think he, I think he is going to drop it. To be honest, he's um, he's looking quite nervous. Shut up! No, you won't. What's a clever bit of chain pushing? To be honest, to be honest, I think I've actually got faith in Pyro. He's not looking nervous. He's looking assured. Norton. The results th this season, I'm I'm not bothered about the results. I've played almost none of the games based on trying to get the right result. I've played them on trying to develop the team. Gifts. You want an orc gift, do you? Oh, Jeff Eyes. Jesus Christ. Hello, cynical. It's been expensive this game. I lost chub steps and Aratark. Yeah. Next going to be missing an orc. I don't think I'm going to both. Leave him alone. Oh, that's unnecessary. But if he dies. Arctic. Well, I mean, if I dodge him, it'll just blitz him anyway, and then the um, the fouls don't have club, you know. So I, I could I could stand him up and hope that the lack of block undoes Arctic, but I don't think I've ever lost four nil Ramasek. I don't think so. I don't. Know. Richest T remembers why he hated Nottingham when he visited it. Well, you probably hated oh, it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously. Oh. You've just been annoying now, Arctic. Falling out now. You've ruined what I was going to do. Twice. Well, it's because Pyro wasn't just, looking, look. Just lie down and take your defeat, like a good stop being awkward. Okay. 
Thank you. Um. It's a bit jammy now. this. Hey! Shem couldn't score with Pyro. Sorry Pyro, give it a go. Was almost rubbed their tea. I can't really win. I think I've had 60 40 in terms of luck to this point. There's an arrow a bit of a blow and chub steps. Mura's here. Hello, Mura. Yeah, it's definitely losing arrow is the big blow. Um, but, you know, looks like... I mean, we can't win. We've won. So, you know. You've gone very quiet. What are you doing? Oh, you've got your nose bag on again, have you? Um, Puppy says only look, look level ups. Uh, yes, um, full met look. The thrower is leveled. Tony's very much advanced um, towards his next level, which will probably be Tackle. Um, did one of the other... Did one of the other players get any points? Um, no, just that thing. Um, well, th thing is, though, um, Full Metal Oak's been playing very well so far this season. So, I know, all throwers, blah. But he's been really bloody helpful. We've, we've won games with him on the pitch. What are you eating? You must have finished old box of Dairy Lieber now. Have you got a case of the stuff for what? What have you got? Nom, 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 nom. I hate this bit where it's only bad news potentially from here. It'll be all right.
think we're just looking at the throw now. This will be fine. Will he fail us? Hopefully not. He wouldn't fail us. Arctic says, our attack will be remembered. Oh, we will fail us. Oh, honestly. Is this really necessary? Get off. <laughs> GG. Oh, Full Metal Oak gets the MVP and Killer Goat for Arctic, so he'll be delighted with that. Leaderboard, does that put me top? Uh, yes, actually, momentarily. For now. Oh, look, I'm top. Hey! I would like to point out that Arctic was 4-0-1 until that point, so he was having a very good season. So a 1-0 win against Arctic is um, very, 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 very good. Very well done, boys.